Today we're going to be talking about triangle similarity theorems. Please open up your binder to your MP notes section and give yourself the title triangle similarity theorems. The first triangle similarity theorem we'll be looking at is called the side 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 similarity theorem. This theorem states that if three pairs of corresponding sides of two separate triangles are proportional, which means all the ratios are equal to one another, then the triangles are similar. Please pause the video at this time and copy down this theorem as well as the two diagram of triangles that you see below. Resume the video when you're done copying these things down. The first thing we're going to do is write a proportion statement about our triangles. Remember this is where we match up the corresponding sides. So I'm going to start with the large triangle and say that side KJ corresponds with side QP. Okay, because I started with the large triangle, I'll again start with the large triangle on the next side and we're going to look at side JL, which corresponds with side PR. Again, to be consistent, we will start with our large triangle again with our last side, which is side LK, which will correspond with side RQ. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write another proportion statement where we fill in the side lengths for each of these sides. Please pause your video and complete that now. Okay, you can see that I've filled that in and I'd like you to check yours. Make sure that your side lengths are correct and match with mine. You can feel free to pause your video at this time in order to check that out. The next thing we'll need to do is to check if each of those ratios is really proportional, meaning are all of these ratios really equal to each other? So. We'll start with our first ratio, 9 over 4. Remember that means 9 divided by 4. If I do 9 divided by 4, I end up with 2.25. Feel free to check that on your calculator. Our next ratio is 13.5 over 6, which means 13.5 divided by 6 which is in fact equal to 2.25 and last but not least we have 11.25 over 5 which means 11.25 divided by 5 and what do you know that is also equal to 2.25 all right because all of our ratios are proportional they are all equal to each other we know that our two triangles from our diagram are in fact similar. So our last job is going to be to write a similarity statement about these triangles. So I'm going to say that triangle, I'm going to abbreviate triangle with a mini triangle, triangle PQR is similar to, remember that little symbol, triangle JKL. Remember that when we're writing our similarity statement, we need to put the corresponding angles in the correct order. And finally, we want to state we know that this is true by the side, side, side rule. All right, we are ready to talk about our next triangle similarity theorem. This one is called the angle, angle similarity theorem. This theorem states that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles of another triangle, then those triangles are similar. Please copy down this similarity theorem into your notes as well as copy down 
the two triangles shown below. Pause your video at this time to complete this. Okay, when I looked very carefully at these two triangles, I notice that angle M is 29 degrees and its corresponding angle in the small triangle, angle C, is also 29 degrees. So I wrote a congruence statement about those two angles. Okay, I also see that angle D is 95 degrees and its corresponding angle in the small triangle, angle W, is also 95 degrees. So I have a congruence statement about those two angles. Therefore, since the um, triangles have two pairs of corresponding angles congruent, we know that these triangles are similar. So I can say that triangle M, A, D is similar to triangle, and we want to go in the same order. If I went one, two, three, then I need to follow that same pattern in my other triangle, C, then O, then W. And there's my similarity statement. I also want to state that these are similar by the angle, angle rule. Okay, at this time we're going to take a look at our third and final triangle similarity theorem. This one is called the Side Angle Side Similarity Theorem. We can abbreviate that SAS. Please pause your video at this time to jot down what the theorem states as well as the two triangles that are shown below. Resume your video once you have that copied down. Now this theorem states that if two pairs of corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional and the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So let's take a look at what that means. Okay, now this example is a little trickier because the triangles don't look exactly alike. One of them looks like it's turned. So I'm going to highlight the longer side that's given, has a given side length of both triangles. I'm going to highlight that in purple. So 35 is the longer given side and 7 is the longer given side. Okay, I'm going to highlight the shorter of the two given sides in red and they'll be corresponding. So 30 centimeters is shorter on the large triangle six centimeters is shorter on the small triangle. Now that included angle means that angle that we're talking about is included in between my two given sides. So that has to be this guy right here and we notice that he's got a right angle box there. So the included angle is 90 degrees. Now on the small triangle the included angle also has to be in between my two given sides and that one also has a 90 degree angle box. So I know those included angles are both 90 degrees and therefore they're congruent. Now remember our theorem stated that our two pairs of corresponding sides had to be proportional. So let's make sure that they are. Okay, I'm going to start with the purple side the longer given side of my large triangle which corresponds with the longer side of my short of my small triangle okay the other given side on the large is 30 centimeters and on the small is 6 remember we need to check if they are actually proportional so 35 over 7 means 35 divided by 7 which is equal to 5 and we need to check if that's going to be equal to our other side proportion. 30 divided by 6, which also gives me 5. Therefore, I know my two sides are proportional. Okay, this last similarity rule also told us the included angles have to be congruent 
and we know that angle K is congruent to angle L because they are both 90 degrees. So this congruence statement makes sure that we know that. Okay, the last thing we need to do here is write our similarity statement. Now, if it helps you to redraw one of those triangles so that they look similar, um, please do that. But we do need to make sure that we write our similarity statement in the right order. So I'm going to look at my large triangle, and I'm going to call that triangle JKE. And I'm going to say that that triangle is similar to triangle MLR. Okay, we know that's true by the SAS rule. All right, guys. Have a great day. Good luck.